Good morning, my friends. This is Becky. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. On my channel, I am going through my good midlife crisis where I am journeying through my 40s and I am working to get my poop in a group. In order to do this, I have been working on my physical, my financial, and my mental health. And today is a physical health journey. Today is Wednesday, February the 14th. Happy Valentine's Day. And I am going to be stepping on the scale in just a moment for my weekly weigh-in Wednesday. If you are new, welcome. I am attempting to lose about 100, 150 pounds, probably about 100 pounds, but 150 pounds would be ideal. Um, from my original weight of just over 300 pounds, about 301 pounds, we'll go over that in a moment. Um, if you are not new, welcome back. Um, if, as you know, I have been not doing so great on the losing weight the last couple of weeks. I have been going up um, and or staying the same. So last week I was 249.4 pounds, which was one pound up from the week before, which was 248.4 pounds. I honestly don't know where I'm going to be this week. I haven't made any changes. I haven't had a chance to contact my nutritionist. My life has been really busy. But I will say that the last couple of days, I think I had some cross-contamination at some point. Um, and I have celiac disease, for those of you who don't know that. Um, I think I had some cross-contamination, so I have not been feeling the best the last couple of days. And um, I don't know if that's going to, it could contribute to the fact that when you have a celiac attack, you get bloated and feel really gross. But I also haven't really been able to eat that much. So, um, and keep the foods that I've been eating in. So it could go either way at this point. Maybe I'll just be the same as I was last week. I could have gained weight because of all the the bloating and the ickiness that comes with a celiac attack, or I could have lost weight because I have none of the nutrition is staying inside of my body right now. So I honestly have no idea what this is going to look like because yay, autoimmune diseases that mess with your body. Um, that was sarcastic in case you couldn't tell. I am feeling better. This actually, I think, happened on Saturday. I went to the movie um, and I eat there all the time and I've never had a problem. So I I honestly think it's because I shared some popcorn with a friend and she was not, she was eating a wrap. Um, and I didn't even think about that until later. And so the gluten on her hand probably got into the shared popcorn bowl. Didn't even think of that until Monday when I was like, why am I still sick? I didn't even eat anything. Um, that is probably what happened. And I didn't even think about it. Um, so I think that's probably what happened. Just trying to figure out because I didn't eat anything that I don't normally eat. Um, but this is all sum up stuff, not disclaimer stuff. So without further ado, let's turn this around and step on the scale and see where I am this week. Okay, like I said last week, 249.4. Oh, I waited too long and my scale went off. Let me try again. Okay, 249.4. Oh wow, well that's down, 246.2. And then Becky in the mirror, that is the front, that is the right, and then this is the left. And then I will see y'all in just a second for Thursday evening, Becky, nope, sorry. Wednesday evening, Becky, for the sum up of this past week. Hey guys, it's Becky. Um, it is Wednesday evening, Becky, so I'm going to try to film this and get this up, but there are a bunch of guys standing right outside my window, which sounds fantastic for Valentine's Day, right? But it's not. Um, turns out AT&T Fiber is coming into my neighborhood, which... If you watch my budgeting journey, it sounds awesome because I, uh, I'm i trying to maybe switch internet companies and maybe I'll switch to AT&T Fiber, except they are, my mom is calling me, I'll call her right back. AT&T Fiber is coming. So they're putting in like fiber lines through the whole neighborhood, but they're digging up my yard to put in the fiber, which is annoying because they're putting a giant hole in my yard, but whatever. Like, they, they said they're going to fill it and they're going to, like, put sod over where the grass was dug up. Whatever. Problem is, they hit my sewer line. So now, they should have been done. 
But there's like literally five guys standing outside loudly speaking Spanish, which I don't speak Spanish. Um, so I don't know what they're saying, but they're doing it very loudly. Um, and I just had to go outside and talk to them. So I don't have any water. I don't have, I can't use, I can't make dinner. It's almost six o'clock. Um, it's been, it's been a fun day. They've been outside working all day. I had no idea they hit a sewer line. Um, it's been fun, but, but I've got 3.2 pounds today, which I know is because I, uh, did it just get really dark in here? I don't know. I feel like it just got really dark in here, but I, I know that that's not a real number. And I know that that's because I haven't been able to really eat the last couple of days and all of the food that I eat just goes right out of me uh, and I'm not a, like absorbing any nutrition. I know that. I recognize that and I know that next week I will expect this to be up. But when I just did the math, so last week I was 249.4 and this week I'm 246.2. So that means I'm down 3.2 pounds from last week, which sounds amazing. Again, I'm not counting that as a real weight. Um, I'm not. I still don't feel good. Like I still don't feel great and I just don't want to go into details because it's not pleasant, but I just don't feel good. Y'all, from the beginning of my weight loss journey, that's 55 pounds, which is the weight I said I was waiting for to do my sugar shot. So I'm kind of tempted to just run over to HEB and do a sugar shot right now. Um, since I don't have any water and I can't make dinner, I might as well just go do a sugar shot, right? I mean, right? right? But it's not real. I know that as soon as I like start eating again and can absorb nutrition again, like at least some of this is going to come back. Like 3.2 pounds in a week is not really sustainable. Although I know some of that is because I had been retaining water and junk from the week it was last week and that's come off. But some of it is just because I haven't eaten. Um, so I don't know. Anyway, it's a better week than it was last week, um, but it's not a better day because of what's going on outside. But it's not a bad day. I had a pretty good day today. I got a lot of work accomplished. Um, I'm having steak for dinner tonight. Hopefully I can eat it. And um, that's it. I hope y'all have a great Valentine's Day. I hope you have some fun plans with your significant other or with just your friends or I hope you're planning to treat yourself to something special like I am treating myself to something special with my steak dinner tonight. Um, what are you doing? Um, I hope you have a fantastic evening. How is your weight loss or health journey going? And um, I think that's all I have. I'm going to go so that I, because I don't think y'all can hear them. Maybe you can, but it's very distracting for me because I can still hear those guys talking outside. Plus, I'm going to call my mom back. All right, y'all. I love you. Happy Valentine's Day. And I will talk to y'all later. Bye.